Okay, here we are at 46 Lakeside. It's at the end of a cul-de-sac. So it has trees behind it and a big backyard fenced in. And here's a view of the neighborhood. Some pretty trees, nice spacing. There are a lot of people here at the house, so that's why all the cars are parked in the circle right now. You have a nice little front porch, covered porch area, two car garage, and the fence over here with the double gate to get to the back. Final siding, a little bit of brick accents. They've got uh, some irrigation. Yeah, we'll head on in now. Hey. Here's the living room. Hey there. How you doing? Hey. Hello. So immediately when you walk in, you've got the steps. And we'll back up here in a second. So. Nice, nice setting here. As soon as you walk in, there's the living room. This really gives you a better perspective from the threshold on in. Has popcorn ceilings to the left of the stairs. And the living room to the right. Okay. Ceiling fan. Not sure if that's wood burning. It looks like it may be, maybe gas. Hey there. And then you have an opening into the breakfast area. It's three inch oak floors transitioned to one foot square tiles with a little center island fiberglass. I mean the uh, Formica countertops, older appliances. The microwave looks newer, it's stainless steel. 30 inch or 36 inch cabinets without any crown molding. Looks like we're about eight foot doors in here. Nice big breakfast area, which serves as the dining area as well. Then you got some decorative concrete, looks like, in the back with the porch. Pretty good sized porch. And of course they're touting the backyard and so nice. You have the door on the side to get gain, gain entry on either side of the home. Nice side yard. Then you have a little closet here. That is your pantry underneath your stairs. Okay. Then there is the utility room, the washer and dryer lead out to the two car garage. Someone's out there, I'll go there in just a minute. Then going into the, the flooring's a little, looks like it probably got wet and it washed it out a little bit, but you have a bedroom at the back of the hallway here, which is kind of what we suspected. And it kind of turns to the right. I'll try to get this, capture this somehow. So there's a queen size bed in here. So that works and it's big enough for a wall. You have a window for some natural light in the back, ceiling fan, and then a, a walk-in closet. So you have a pretty good size walk-in closet. And then you have a full bath right outside. So if you really wanted to make this private, you could put a door right here. Okay. And then you still have the door here to add privacy to the bedroom and make this a downstairs suite. You have cultured marble. That mirror probably is going, so don't count on that. That is attached. That cabinet will probably have to stay then. You have a fiberglass tub shower combination and the tile carries in all of the uh, common areas here, the wet areas, so to speak. Refrigerator on the end with the water line. 
you have a 50-50 sink pole and nice little windowsill looking out over the backyard. And kind of an open feel other than that wall, but that provides a little bit of privacy. And then we'll go out into the garage. You open the garage door there. So you could see that was good. Thank you. There is a side door leading out to the side, I guess, if you want to put the trash out there. They have a generator blocking the door and then they have their pretty big uh, hot water heater. That could be an old 80, but yeah, you don't make, you don't find 80s too often anymore. They've gone to 55s, a little bit narrower, easier to get up top. But it's an unfinished garage and it has some extra shelving there. And then has, these are temporary, so all that may go. The, anyway. So. All right, so in the laundry room, they put in a bar all the way across for a drip dry. And now we'll head on up. Yeah, she's got the ACM. Hey, how you doing? All right, so now you have two-story high ceiling here as we walk up the stairs. With a half wall on the right and a handrail on the left. And when we get up here, you have a little landing area. Full bath, straight ahead. Linen closet, straight ahead. Bedroom to the right, bedroom in the front, and then third bedroom back over here. But first, let's start with, oh, and in the hallway, there's a pull down, probably where the air handler would be. You have a, a vanity with a sink, nice size, and they put decorative, decorative pavers, or whatever that might be, on the side with a standard toilet, so it's lower and the counters are lower too fiberglass insert and your linen closet. Your return is here. It's not a real big return. You have a ceiling fan. They've turned their closet into an inversion storage area. This is obviously their exercise room. Has a TV mounted. It has a really nice view of the back. This would be a nice office. Get some natural light there. Look at the trees and birds. So then on the front right is a very large bedroom. That looks like a king bed. It is a king bed. <laughs> so that's pretty good. For some reason, it looks smaller than a king, but it is a king bed. And just to Make sure. Yep, you got the two foundations down there. So, and, and you have a window facing the, the road and a window facing the side. They have a separate air conditioning unit up here. So here we go again. Portable air conditioner. They can vent in and out to make this room cooler. And then a nice size closet. There, the lights did come on. And popcorn ceilings. So these two bedrooms on the right side of the home, that one in the back, surrounding this full bath. And then this, I'm assuming, is a master bedroom. It has a vaulted ceiling. Really big. Only a queen bed in here. Vaulted ceiling, popcorn ceiling, a lot of discoloration around the edge there. Looks like they painted it, but didn't paint it that great all the way to the edge. And you see some discoloration and some tape uh, issues there on the crack. And that's usually a sign of some humidity getting up there, which is obvious on the peak, heat rises can make the duct tape lose its uh, stickiness. 
you'd have a window facing the front road and a window facing out to the side. It has some fog because it's cracked. Looks like a BB hit it. So, hmm. but it only went on the outside. So maybe there's a BB in the bottom. Can't tell. I'm sure it's in there. Very good size walk-in closet. Only has a one rack for hanging and then has a second rack a little bit higher, but you can reposition those and double rack and really get a lot more clothes to be hung in there. Then this is the master bath with a double vanity, light bar, big framed mirror. A lot of different colors on the wood trim of this, the wood cabinets, the stone siding there, like paver siding for you have a tub and you have a standard walk-in shower. It looks like it's culture marble, which I like because that's easy to take care of. A little shelf and a soap dish. And then your water closet over here. And you wouldn't expect the, uh, the metal piece to remain but that's kind of the low seating toilet again small low seating and the counters are lower too so okay well that kind of says it all i guess and one last view out and it's a nice view from the front if you want to check anyone coming to the front okay so this is a nice big room. I'll back up over here again just to show you. Oh, let me zoom back out. So three bedrooms upstairs, two full baths. Half bath, or no, full bath downstairs next to a bedroom. It's a regular size bedroom with a nice size closet. And the living room, dining area off of the breakfast area and that all needs kind of updating a little bit of wood rot around this looks like a wood laminate up here five inch plank different than the wood flooring downstairs so hopefully that will hopefully that will help